there is no room for people of Arab descent in the United States to be in any position of influence or power. ADC, we reflect on our journey, a testament to resilience and unwavering dedication. Let us share with you our story, a narrative that embodies the spirit of our mission. Wilson told you a little bit about ADC tonight. What, uh, what ADC has been designed to do at the time that I organized it back in 1980 was uh, a number of different things. In the backdrop of the 1970s, a time of rising tensions, American Arabs felt their concerns growing. War loomed on the horizon, and in the face of adversity, the founder of the American Arab Anti-Discrimination Committee, Senator James Aburizik, was stirred to action. Uh, we are here to fight discrimination and racism against people of Arab descent. Gathering strength from across the nation, over 60 Arab leaders joined hands, forming a powerful coalition. United they stood, fighting for justice and rights, becoming a beacon for our community. Slowly but surely, people began seeking our opinions, recognizing our commitment to a just cause. But the path we tread has not been without sorrow. An act of terror right here at home in Orange County. Yes, that is the corner office of what used to be the headquarters, as you mentioned, of the American Arab Anti-Discrimination. In 1985, violence struck our offices, leaving us devastated. A prominent Palestinian-American leader named Alex Odeh was killed by a powerful pipe bomb planted at the Santa Ana, California offices of the American Arab Anti-Discrimination Committee, where Ode worked as the group's Western Regional Director. The case of Alex Ode bombing remains unsolved, leaving us yearning for justice. We continue to honor his memory, seeking a renewed sense of purpose. And while the frustration and disappointment weigh heavy upon us, we refuse to give up. In our journey, we encountered controversy. In 1993, Disney's Aladdin stirred our community. Where they cut off your ear if they don't like your face. Offensive lyrics tarnished the film, misrepresenting our heritage and culture. ADC launched powerful campaigns determined to resist and challenge unjust laws through legal means. In 2000, we raised our voices high advocating for the lifting of sanctions that had taken a toll on the lives of millions. The aftermath of 9-11 brought forth a new wave of challenges. Backlash and discrimination became our daily reality. We opposed the overreaching surveillance powers of the Patriot Act and challenged the intrusion of our privacy. We denounced human rights violations and abuses at home and abroad. We fought for the end of illegal detentions, profiling, surveillance at home, and for the end to the wars and occupation in our homelands abroad, yearning for peace amongst the chaos of war. You've partnered with educators to help young people understand the Arab American experience. The turning point of 2016 brought its own trials. Xenophobia surged, and with it, our resolve to push back. We led the charge against the Arab and Muslim ban, defending the rights of those unfairly targeted by this grave injustice. We stand together, unwavering in our pursuit of justice and equality. Our vision transcends boundaries, weaving a tapestry of cultures, vibrant and resilient. We embrace change while remaining rooted in our heritage. We strive to educate the American public, fostering understanding of Arab history and culture, our stories resonating with power. We extend our cause beyond borders, standing shoulder to shoulder with oppressed communities lending our strength to their struggle. As the ADC team, we remain united, taking a new approach. We are ADC, truly Arab and fully American. <laughs>